And now over to the Mastercraft Kitchen and Tim Reid, our Master Chef, who's been filling in for Mark Southern for the last few weeks. And Mark's returning tomorrow, so it's yeah. your last day today, Tim. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh. Getting kicked out. Oh, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, loved it. I, yeah. I actually might come back tomorrow. Free coffee, free food. Yeah, just hang out. Yeah, just, just sit over there and the like, give, give Mark the look. You know, just sit there and you know, do the look. So you feels awkward enough to leave again. Back, <laughs> no, what's yeah, on the menu perfect. today? Today we're doing chocolate truffles. I thought uh, it's my last day. I'm going to do whatever the heck I want, and I want chocolate truffles. So we're doing them. <laughs> so do we. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. So what I have here is a cup of cream. And, uh, and like Mel said before, these are actually coffee chocolate truffles. We're going to infuse them with coffee. And so this is just a couple of tablespoons of coffee beans. Put them over the heat. And, uh, and I'm just going to bring this up, not to the boil. What we really don't want here is to boil the cream. We want the, cre uh, the cream sorry, to start to simmer around the edges, and then we're going to leave it to steep. Get all that delicious coffee flavour everywhere. And, uh, and by the time you come back, that we'll have some beautiful coffee-coloured cream that we'll make into a ganache and then we'll make our truffles. But I'll explain all of that later. That's Aww. right, Mel. It is Tim's last day, and it's kind of bittersweet. Yeah, it has been great yeah. having you, but a very sweet treat too coming up. Much like the chocolate, oh. 72%. Dark chocolate. No, I like what you've done sweet. there. There you yeah. go. Nice Taking work. me three weeks. Oh, <laughs> he's <on>. there. <laughs> and go and get his, um, his book out too, um, Gather. Yeah, yeah, thank go you. Go and buy that. I yeah. mean, I'm sure we'll have you back. Um, yeah. So truffles, though, uh, this is one of my favourites. So what are we at? Well, where are we at now? Well, so we've had the cream with the uh, coffee beans yes. in here. Yeah. Uh, had that steeping for a while, so mm -hmm. that all that cream will have that beautiful coffee flavour. Oh, yeah, I can smell that. It yep. smells incredible. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to transfer pots. Yep. And so that's basically a coffee cream we have there now. OK, cool. All right. Just yep. get rid of this. Yeah, and whack it in there. All right, cool. That'll do. OK. All right, get rid of that. We'll put that back on the heat, and we're going to add some butter. Cool. Uh, the reason we add butter is just for a bit of mouthfeel. Um, we want it to be, it sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But um, basically the increase in fat, my, can't take them anywhere. That's right. The fat in there will actually make it smoother and creamier in your mouth when you bite through a truffle. Yeah. Right. So we're just going to melt that. Yep. And I have some chocolate that I've chopped mm -hmm. up here. Okay, just be to check it first. Yeah, make mm -hmm. sure it's all right. Yeah, it's good chocolate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. You want to use good quality chocolate. Okay. Um, because... Whatever you're using here is uh, it affects the taste. So, right. so what do you, you look can, out for? How do you know good quality? Uh, well, price. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, okay. go with brands that you know. Go with brands that you trust. Um, usually, if it's a nice, consistent colour like this, often you can get the the kind of weird chocolate that has a bit white and kind of got the white swirls through it. Right. Um, is not properly tempered, so you know which is fancy, but. Basically, it means the chocolate hasn't been looked after during the production process. And do you so, use dark chocolate? Is that the one? You yeah. Use? So yeah. what I'm I'm using dark chocolate here just because it's quite sweet. Often you can get kind of a sweetness overload, but if you prefer milk, use milk. Yeah. Um, but dark chocolate and coffee goes well together. And actually, I wanted to say that if you don't like coffee, use something else. Okay. But just be careful because you don't want to put water in chocolate. Okay. So, Water, so if you were to throw berries in there or something like that, it would actually split. Okay. So yeah, so you want to use, yeah, so okay. you want to use oils or something like that, an Good essence tip. of something. All right, so nice. this is nice and hot. Oh, yeah. We're going to pour that over the chocolate. Oh, yeah. All right. It's yeah. nice and easy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and then basically you stir that until it's all combined. Okay, well, that's And that's easy. what we call a ganache, all okay, right? Okay, nice. Yep. Hey, and um, while I'm stirring this, let's just find out, have you enjoyed being here? I've absolutely loved it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Did Hope you learn Mark anything? Goes away soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. True. He's like he's getting come back actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Well, that's yeah. mounted nicely, isn't so it? So you've done that, and that's looking really good. Yep. All right. And now what you're going to do is you're going to set that in the fridge, mm -hmm. and it turns out like that. Just like that. All right. Oh, oh, nice yeah. and solid. Um, yeah. That looks good. Looks really good. Yeah. Really well, solid. dig it out. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to hand roll these truffles into little balls. Okay. So before you whack it on there. Yeah. I'm going to get gloves some on. gloves on. OK. Just because everyone's going to eat these, trust me. <laughs> and it saves everything going everywhere. And Mel will be like, I've seen you touch them. <laughs> it's all right, Mel, I've got gloves on this time. Good. OK, if you want the recipe, just go to thecafe.co.nz. That's where all the recipes are that we have here. Thank you for your feedback on them too. If you want to post a message or give us any suggestions, you can um, leave a message on our Facebook page. OK, cool. <clears throat> so, basically, just going to roll it into a ball here. OK, I'm going to give that a go because that looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop it in some hazelnuts. Yeah. Give it a roll around. <laughs> what does it... 
doesn't look the best when you're doing this, does it? Yeah. No. Ooh. And then what you're going to do is you want to set that in the fridge. Oh, this is... Yeah, and that firms it all up again. And we've Classy. Made them, we've made them that. quite big here, haven't we? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can make them as big or as small as you want. <laughs> At least, well, you need to make another one ASAP. All right? OK. Well, I tell you what, we'll use the magic of tally to sort these out very soon. Um, come back and we'll get to try them on. Tim's last day, we've got a little treat for you too, actually, Tim, that you don't know about. How's it going, Tim? You're nearly out of here. You're going to miss yeah, us? Yeah, I know. Where are the tissues? I know. <laughs> We're going to miss you. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be sad. Yeah. Yes. But how did your truffles turn out? Yeah, point? well, <laughs> yeah, uh, I kept going when Mike left. And so we've got truffles. They've just been popped in the fridge to firm up a little bit. Massive truffles. Yeah, yeah, they are quite generous ones, aren't <laughs> Sorry, they? Sorry, that was But me. last day, it's fine. Yeah, nice yeah. work. All right. I like a big truffle. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to eat some of them, but I'll wait because we've got something for you, Tim. It has been such a pleasure having you on the show with us. Thank you. It uh, feels like you're part of the team, and we're really going to miss you. Yeah, so we thanks are. for your hard nice work. Um, I'll tell you something else we're going to miss, though. Your totally Tim Reed moments. Oh, Have gosh. a look. Yeah, of course, anyway. Did you win yeah. skills on MasterChef for your presentation? Not often. <laughs> so there's going to be no presentation. No. <laughs> and I tell you what, I've been doing over the weekend is working on my presentation, Mel. So. <laughs> okay. Well, he's also very cute and not unlike a giant baby. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to throw the biggest tanty, Mel. So I'm just whack that on a couple of pieces of chicken. I whack that onto a medium heat. Whack this in the pan. Whack the bum in the bin. I'm going to whack it all in here. We're going to whack it. Whack the lid on, it all gets whacked in. Just whack them in. Whack that in the bowl as well. Gonna whack that straight in there. Oh, you can probably whack it in like that. That's getting whacked in the oven. We're gonna whack this in the oven. Whack it in the oven. You whack that in there. Yep. We can whack it back on here. Seems to be my theme, we're just whacking everything in the pot. But be careful, because it makes your tongue go numb. I should have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's the name of your new book. Yeah, whack, whack it in. Whack it. Yeah, just whack one of them in your mouth. How do you realise how mean I was to you? <laughs> I did. Oh. <laughs> but it also means that Chef Mark Salvin joins us back in the Mastercraft kitchen tomorrow. We have no idea what he's going to be cooking, like there's something fancy in French, that's where he's been, or he's been Germany too, it could be anything. Master yes. Chef Tim, for putting up with us, please come back. I'll be back. <laughs> and I'll be back. Especially <laughs> after be these, because these are amazing. <laughs> have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. See you later. <laughs>